has been sharing some of his home experiments that you can do with your family over the winter break. And this morning's experiment is going to require a little adult supervision because it does involve a match or a lighter. Grant shows what low pressure at the center of a hurricane can do to water. Hurricanes are known for their heavy rain, powerful winds, and the rising storm surge water from those powerful winds. Did you know that the low pressure, though, associated with a hurricane can be so strong that it also contributes to the rise of water close to the center of the storm. And we can duplicate this just with some simple things that you probably already have around the house. Get some Play-Doh, a little birthday candle, some blue food coloring, a nice glass, a little dinner plate, a lighter or matches, and then just a cup of water. Okay, first what you do is you'll take your Play-Doh and just place it right in the center of your plate. Take your candle and put that candle right in the center of that Play-Doh. After that, take your blue food coloring and just drop a few drops into your water. You really don't need much, maybe four or five drops there. And just allow that water to slowly mix together. All right, once you've got your blue food coloring in your water, just take your water and pour it into your plate. You could probably pour a fair amount in there. Just don't, obviously don't, don't go over the edge. From there, Take your lighter or your match and light your candle. Get the flame going really well. And this is where it gets really cool, okay? Take your glass and put your glass over the Play-Doh. Watch what happens. See how that water rises? And then it rises even more after the flame of the candle goes out. What's happening here is obviously the candle is using up all of the oxygen inside of this glass. And the candle, the flame, is heating up the air inside of that glass. Once the flame goes out, the air cools inside of the glass. Now, pressure and temperature are directly proportional, which means that as the temperature drops, the pressure drops as well, which creates an area of low pressure inside of this glass. That means outside of the glass, we have this high pressure. The atmosphere is always trying to reach an equilibrium and balance itself out. So that high pressure is pushing on the water, trying to fill that low pressure void inside the glass. And that's what produces the rise in that water inside of the glass, which is also the same thing that happens in a hurricane. The low pressure at the center of the hurricane causes that water to rise up as it's trying to balance the pressure. And as a result, the water rises as well. Pretty cool. Try it at home. Grant would make such a good science teacher. He's awesome at what he does. All right, always a good idea when you're playing with fire to make sure that you have one of these nearby. Maybe you have a smaller one. This one's pretty heavy. But keep this nearby in case you have any kind of incident. And again, parents, just be advised. Stay with your kiddos while they're playing with their match. Not really playing with it, but using it for this experiment.